Hello viewers, I'm Patrick with Amazing Picture Studios, and this is my buddy Dan. Hi there people, One of we'll be speaking a little bit more today. Oh dude, we're, st we're the same color finally. Oh awesome, sweet! <laughs> About time to get it synchronized, alright, anyway. And this Thanks. is once again Space Engineers, and uh, cool. I just wanted to show you guys what I built over here. It's the uh, Portland yeah. Class Destroyer. Loads and loads of fun, hey just three up. Alright, so just from the exterior, you could tell that it's slightly based off of the uh, Mattis and Orion's design, except I also added in some big guns in the front <laughs> to be yeah. manned Duty. by uh, to be manned by a crew, so that way this thing is actually able to do some uh, cool assaults on other targets. Now yep. I'm gonna give you a tour on the inside. We're gonna enter via the well, <laughs> gravity. <laughs> Gravity, you went flying off, bro. You didn't see that. We're gonna be entering through this door here on the bottom deck. I'm gonna show you everything about it. All right. And auto space. Quickly done. Yeah, that's the lovely thing about these small worlds, right? I mean, you get yeah. lots and lots of quick saves. One of the biggest of... changes I added in here is if you look here, I have shutters. So in combat, you can just do this. Oh, dude, that is. That is an awesome idea. I never even thought about that. Dude, Wait. we can fix our other ships and make them defense defensible with that. Have that's that's ingenious, dude. I have to ha I have to applaud you on that. That that was that, that's top notch. No, I, I doubt anybody else has done that. But I, I'm more, wow. I more or less stole the idea from uh, several videos that I'd seen on the YouTube. Oh, you stole it. Oh. <laughs> Still a good idea, though. No, I stole it in a. Uh, Applicated it to my ship. I mean, I've seen other people use it as this is the window, but I decided to have the window on that side with uh, shutters on this side. So I'm gonna show oh, you the big, yeah. the I'm main sure. gun. This here is the main gun to the ship. Sitting Not getting inside, it, it has gonna a, explode. <laughs> has, it shoots rockets out, and there's two, one on this side and one on the other side, so that way you could have a, a crew of three, two people down here to man these and one guy at the helm. Oh, that's cool. Sweet deal. And walking through the ship, it's like this on the other side. Uh, over here. Whoa. Oh, is it just mirrored? Yeah, Dig once it. again, it's mirrored. I like the mirror. Okay. Yeah, like that's always it's cool. It's symmetric. It's the same on the other side. If you walk out that's here, cool. we have two beacons, one for SOS and one for the name. Yeah. In here, once again, I decided to add in the... Uh, Drop pods? Yep, the drop base. Because you yep. never know when you need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ain't that the truth. No one here you have a small cargo container with also the ability to get up and down the stairs to the second well the first and second floor of the ship. It's a yeah, small I really ship, like this design. Uh, in here once again right. you have your small life support bay with your gravity and your forward gyros. Forward gyros. <laughs> Yep, standard in all of our designs, just to make ships easier to turn, because if you don't have them, you come then out well, here, let's just you're say you're not going anywhere. Walk out into here, and we have the two isolated medical bays on each side, once again with the windows. That is just so cool. I'm just going to implement that in my, one of my designs, it's going to be awesome. I need to retrofit the Mattis. <laughs> yes, we do. We also need to retrofit the Orion. This is just so <laughs> handy. I mean, like, if we come under attack, just... Boom. Gutter it up it. and go. <laughs> that one extra layer. Once again, I have the uh, small little bed design. Yep, there's that's a, pretty standard. There's a crew, it's four, but I'm thinking with this ship, it's going to be crewed with about like eight people max. Yeah. So I guess people will just be hot bunking anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I really there's need for crazy no real way works. to access the lower level of the, uh, the engine room. Oh, suspended access. reactors, that's a first. I don't know, I just, I just, there's not enough room in this area to actually man this whole compartment, so I just yeah, improvised. That's yeah, I could tell. It's not a bad design, though. It's still functional, you know, as long as it works, it's, it's kind Walking of a mantra. Here you have more, uh, more reactors with some more, more gyros. gyros. Yep. These are the little side compartments just for the side thrusters. I don't know whether to take them out or to leave them on. <laughs> I just leave them there for now. They, they look anyway. Cool. Back here we Into have the a here. Thor type engine compartment. 
Ooh, is this a is this a pancake Thor? No, it's, it's only one level, or does it no, do it's more two. than one level? It's two levels. Oh, sweet deal! So we're doing vertical pancaking. Okay. Yeah, that I pretty sense. much took Dan's Thor design and tried to do something with it. <laughs> How bad you went horizontal with the uh, scaling as opposed to vertical? It was um, a trick, just because of the fact that uh that this is a much so smaller short. design than my other ships. Now, if you walk up here, you have your uh, surface compartment, or your surface uh, entry and exit way, which comes in yep. handy for repairs. Yep. And in each yep. one of these two rooms, it's just some cargo containers. It was just accessory cargo, I guess, not no, storage. It's just primary cargo. <laughs> As I said, because of the two guns below deck, it made it hard for there to be any like real cargo room, like the Mattis. Well, that's fine. This ship is not really a cargo ship anyway. It's more as a destroyer, so it's made to destroy stuff, not store it. <laughs> and this is my hangar. Oh, a hangar. Well, not hangar. Well, I'm fucking the <laughs> bridge. <laughs> the bridge. There we go. That's better. With these uh, uh, open and closable little shutters, so if we enter combat, I can stay batten down all hatches. And the crew could go about closing all of these shutters for combat. Yeah, see, this is this is where uh, being able to uh, group uh, items together uh, under a single control in Space Engineers would be very handy. Because then all you do is to say close the shutters, and then you can automatically close all the doors with one command instead of having to go and click through all these doors to close them. Which so, is a uh, definite, uh, which is a definite must-have for this uh, stylish ship. Now, as you see, I went yeah. with the same kind of style of bridge as I did with the Orion, and then the retrofitted Mattis. It's actually the same size as the retrofitted Mattis, believe it or not. But um, Interesting. it's really nice because I, once again, I like I said before, I really like the ability for the captain to sit higher than everybody else. So that way, you well, can walk adds, on the deck. You walk on the deck, and you know who the fuck's in charge. <laughs> yeah, that works. Now if you walk back here, you have this uh, level here where you can see what's uh, going on down there in the uh, engine room. It's always good to have direct communication to your engine area as well, you know, you know when you need it. Oh, oh more sure. gyros! You have the, you have more gyros. This is a little gyro compartment. Back here you have secondary storage and the ability to manufacture your own parts to replace and replenish uh, supplies. All right, sweet deal. So it does have secondary storage. I was wondering about that. Okay. Yeah, it's not as anyway. big. It was kind of a trick time trying to fit everything in here, so that way it's uh, able to, you know, be functional. I mean, I have two assemblers and two refineries, just so that way you're able to uh, create your own uh, repairs. So that way you don't have to regroup with the fleet. Instead, if you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere and your ship is too damaged to fly, you could make the repairs yeah. right there on the spot. Especially with well, the other thing it allows you to do is you can do some of your own mining and stuff on your own if you need to uh, damage like for parts resources. and stuff and materials. I mean, I wouldn't recommend mining because this thing isn't re out outfitted to be mi a mining vehicle. So Well, it's for it's an auxiliary purpose, it's not a main purpose, so we're just not worried about it. And in here Ooh, is my, in main, the back room. My, my main gyro room. <laughs> <laughs> the main gyro room. Okay. Lots and lots of gyros, okay. Um, anyway, you know what's really cool about all this? I'm, I'm developing an uh, automated ship docking port system that would make uh, docking uh, our new modular space station units uh, up with these ships and make them a lot easier to So anyway, I just wanted to show with, you so. something. Dan, go ahead and hop in. This, this ship isn't that fast on acceleration, but my god, can this bitch turn. <laughs> I can see that with all the... Just hop, just, just, just hop in so that way you can see it. Yeah, I am. I'm in. All right. I'm in. Let's go. Let's do this. Good lord! Dude, I must applaud you. This ship can really turn. How fast can it go? Let's go. Let's go forward. It's, uh... It doesn't accelerate oh, as fast as you want it to go. I mean, it's decent. But the main ability I prefer in it is its turning ability, so that way you could actually park this a good distance away from the target and actually bombard it with the uh, onboard cannons, which actually come in. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, that's always a good thing. Oh and shit! The, uh... Shit! 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 <laughs> uh, Did you turn damage on? I in think this I forgot. World? 
I think I forgot. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's go see how ruined this engine room is, because since the latest patch, uh, what happens is, um... We end up with, oh, uh... God. Oh god, I went the wrong way. <laughs> move, move. <laughs> Oh, you're glitching out for me right now. <laughs> Quickly before it auto saves. See, this is why the game is still on alpha stage, is because you get little glitches like this, but I think I think this game's going to be worth it, just due to uh, how much you can do in oh this god. game. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. It's just, just the engine room exploded. Yeah, okay, before it auto saves. Quick. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, uh... Everybody, I wound up uh, destroying everything and trying to recover it before it auto saves again. So I'm gonna walk you around the exterior features to this ship. Um, I found it funny because even though it destroyed some of the uh, <laughs> the engines, it still had pretty good acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the exterior features of the ship, I have you know the standard headlights and antennas that I always put on the front along yep. with the uh, exterior all well, these guns um, I'm thinking about trying to fix something to where there's rotors that open up a good part of it but I don't like rotors so I can never actually, get them right. Actually you know what you could do is you could actually put if you uh, line it up just right you could actually put doors in front of those uh, cannons and then you could just open the doors and then fire. Nah That'd I decided just cool to leave them it. open so that way they could fire at will whenever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true. Less that can go wrong. Well, anyway, the exterior of the ship includes uh, several... Um, well, you, you could easily tell it's my usual spaced armor uh, Yeah, it's setup. reactive armor. No, One it's not. Unit thick. Correct. Well, it's not reactive. It's not reactive. I had somebody uh, somebody call me out for that earlier. I, oh, yeah, that's true. It's not really reactive. It's more like... Um, it's because I didn't know what to call it. He said, yeah, it's spaced armor. I'm like, oh, spaced armor. Good to know. Uh, yeah, space armor. Okay, correction made. Right. Correction noted. And space armor. Now the yeah. biggest the biggest change in designs that makes it different from the uh, most of the other ships I build is the two side engines here. I mainly put those in there for some extra speed and so that way it doesn't look like a long stick. Yeah. It's, it's real small. It's to make it look nice. But once again I have, you know, the basic engines and then I put the uh, engine liner around it so that way it's uh um, protected somewhat. Protected somewhat, so that way somebody can't just drop a shot on it and disable those engines. I yep. tried my best to protect the ship. The nice thing about it, especially with the uh, shuttered windows, is uh, that way that puts an extra, an extra layer, layer. of uh, defense around those windowed areas. That yeah, makes it quite a cool design. I just get, I just want to show y'all the uh, the Portland class destroyer. Yep. This is also uploaded to our uh, fleet world, which yep. should be available sometime here soon on the yep. Steam Workshop. Anyway, I'm yep. Patrick with Amazing Picture Studios, and that is my buddy Dan. Dan. <laughs> Signing yep. out. This is the Portland Destroyer. <laughs> Signing out.